we was a part of another ministry. And at that ministry, um, I've been in church all my life. My husband has been majority of years. And, and throughout that time, we were churching. And what I mean by churching is, we were going to church, we were serving faithfully, we was doing everything that we thought we were supposed to be doing, and the key word is thought. But we were not doing God's will. We thought we were, but we was under false teachers and false doctrine. Mm. And it put us in a place of bondage. Mm. And we didn't even realize we was walking in bondage. We thought we was walking in freedom. Mm. We thought we was doing his will. We was being positioned. And the Lord had to show me that I was a position chaser. Oh my mm. God. And I didn't realize I was Jesus. that until he showed it to me. Thank you, Jesus. And the way he showed it to me was I ended up in church hurt. Oh. Mm. Just a simple tactic of getting my feelings hurt by the oh leader God. that I was serving as an armor bearer for. Something simple. And it hurt me, and I left the ministry. I had to leave the ministry, though, but I didn't understand why at that time. So here we were last year. And the whole year I spent my time going, I'm not going to another church because I'm sick of everything in the fake. I just want to do God's will, but nobody's teaching me how to do that. Mm. And the problem with that was I was expecting people to teach me instead of putting my face in the Word. Mm. And I read the Word front to back, but I, did, I didn't know the Word. Come I was on. just reading it. It was just letters on the page. Mm. Mm. That's good. So then I ended up at True Green. <laughs> and people was adamant about introducing I don't even need this I, I know that's right people was adamant about making sure I knew that he was a pastor <laughs> I didn't care I came in and I was everywhere he was I was on the opposite side of the <laughs> because I won't I'm it. not doing church <laughs> and so finally God has a sense of humor with me because I'm stuck so he sat me right in front of Bishop. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, Lord, I'm not dumb to you, so I know you're doing something. So I had to start saying, hey. <laughs> How you doing, Bishop? Mm -hmm. How you doing, Pastor? And so I started asking him questions because I wanted to know if he were real. Come I on. knew he was real before Shit. I had asked him questions. Well, I was saying that. Mm. That's why I avoided him because it's a presence yes. around people who are truly connected. Amen. I knew he was Jesus. Real. I Come I on. I ready to be real. Come on. So when I sat in front, I started asking questions just, and I would say this. I already know the answer. I just <laughs> want to know if you know the answer. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I don't know any other way to be. Mm -hmm. And so he would give me the word. He wouldn't get into debates, none of that. He won't do that. He would just feed me a scripture and I always give me that word, stay tuned. Every time he did it, he would just shut me right on down. <laughs> and then one day he gave me one piece of advice that changed my life forever. He said, I'm going to tell you one word and you're not going to like this word. And I didn't. I ain't like it. He said, you got to submit. Mm. Mm. At that time, mm. Jesus. I was on my way to try to commit adultery. Come on here. Come on, Talk come on about now. it. Because I had got so far Gone. from God mm. in disobedience. Mm. And he shared his testimony one day, just out the blue, not even realizing that he was speaking to me. What he do? I didn't stop saying that. He knows what he be doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know. And um, I remember going home and having to tell my husband the five words. Come on, talk about it. Come on now. And it wasn't Come on easy now. to do. Jesus. I'm sorry. I, I was, was wrong. wrong. Yes. Come on now. Come on. I never submitted. Come on. To my husband. I was always trying to lead because I knew better. Ooh. I've been in church all my life, so I know God, you catch up. Catch up. Jesus. Come to where I am. Ooh. But I really was nowhere because mm -hmm. I was out of order. She so the Lord shut me all the way down. You better preach. Then he had to teach me. I said, I don't know how to submit, Bishop. What does what does that mean? And he just started feeding me the word at work. Mm -hmm. Every day I came in with a question. And every word he gave me would convict me. 
Mm. So you got to be willing to allow the word to convict you. You better say you it. You want to hear about blessings and glory and favor, but you got to let the word convict you. Come on. To it push you to a place of submission. Because through submission then comes obedience. That's right. But it's a choice though. Because I had to choose that. And it wasn't an easy choice to make. And it wasn't easy going to my husband looking him in his eyes and saying, I was about to have an affair. Mm. And I'm sucked. And being that he's still standing here. Yes, God. Jesus. That's God too. That's right. Because he could have just left. That's right. And he did get angry, but he chose to forgive me. Oh, mm. So if this man who I see can forgive me, Glory. do we not know that God, because he sacrificed his only Glory. son. Hallelujah. Thank you. So then when I started submitting and being obedient. Come on. All those prophecies that I tried to deny <laughs> before, because I'm like, I heard all that, but nothing's happening. What's this abundant life? <laughs> Because <laughs> nothing's happening. I'm going through hell all the time. Mm. Nothing's happening. I'm going to church. I'm praising. I'm worshiping. Nothing's changing. So what's all this for? But the moment I chose to be obedient and submit, because the word say submit to your husband. That's right. It didn't say submit to the Lord first. Like when I read in Ephesians 5, you see, I did that. I know it. <laughs> 20, 21, matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> it says submit to your husbands as you submit unto the Lord. Amen. I had it backwards. I would submit to the Lord. That's right. And I feel like submit when I felt like because he would get on my nerves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We have the best marriage today. Yes, Jesus. We'll be married for nine years in April. We've been honeymooning since November. Woo! When we connected here, I didn't want to come visit. I was like, he started sending me invitations. I said, okay. And I said, um, all right, we'll just go see. So we came. He fell in love first. Amen. It surprised me. Yes, yes. So I'm following the leader. Yes. After the third visit, he said, we got to come here. I wasn't going to question it. Amen. And ever since we've been connected to you guys. Mm. First, God had to connect me to him so that I could receive her. Amen. Jesus. Because I was still damaged and hurt from being hurt by Jesus. my first lady. Jesus. So he was preparing me for her. Jesus. The connection that God has because she's birthing things in my life. My, my, you got to know who you connected to and why you connected to him. So I don't take this connection for granted because since we've been connected and they've been feeding us the true unadulterated word, our life in just three months have did a total. My God, our Jesus! Saved, my kids acting right. My God, I know how to submit as a wife, yes. and as I submit as a wife, I know how to submit in ministry. Come on. Woo. Because it all flows the same. That's right. I'm not a position chaser. I'm good with sitting on the back. Come I'm on. Like that. I don't even like being up here. I don't like it. I'd rather be back there. They know this. They know this. But I'm, I'm submissive enough that I can be obedient to what they're teaching me. And when they say it's time to move, I'm going to trust and I'm going to move. Go ahead. That's right. So to sum it all up. Because I went over three minutes. I do apologize. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, he said he want to say something. Amen. Wow. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Come wow. on, G Come on, Holy Ghost. <laughs> so to sum it all up, I'm going to say this little piece. The obedience started allowing the blessings to flow in our yes. life. Yes. Come on here. My husband had lost his job. We had just bought a brand new truck, lost the truck. We had to move from my family. Mm. Was losing things, didn't know when rent was gonna get paid, none of that stuff. Everything went to zero. And we've been at that place before, but this time was different. Because this time it started happening after we chose to be obedient. Come on, come on. Together. Yes, 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 yes. yes. But this time we chose to walk it out Amen. instead of doing it on Jesus. our own. We chose, he chose to submit to God. So I. Woo! Yes! He chose to submit to God. So we were just walking. And as he led us, God started shifting everything in our life. Yes. And not just in my household, but people connected to us. Come on, Jesus. So now, all bills paid in full and ahead of time. Mm. He just purchased another car yesterday, cash. Woo! He got a job working where I work, more money. Woo! 
Woo! I got a job increase. Increase. And yes, promotion. God. Yes. But I said all that because that's good. Step on that. There's nothing mm. to the increase right. of the spirit of the Lord in yeah. us. Woo! Come on here. I don't even care about that material right. stuff no more. That's I right. Chase that too. Yes. All I care about is that he increased in me. Yes. And decreased me. So that I can know who he is. Yes. And that's the abundant life. Woo! Yes! That's the abundant life. To know him. Yes. Not me. Yes. You to did. walk in him. Yes. Not us. Yes. That's the abundant life. Woo! The material things mean nothing. Amen. Thankful for it. Yeah. But the material things mean nothing. And now that we bless. We're going to bless others because we know Amen. We Amen. 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 Yes. Yeah, I just want to say the struggle that we've been in, was it was real. I know that's right. It, it was hard. But you know, when, it, when it's always a struggle, it's a blessing on the other end. Yeah. Come on, preach. And that's the way I had to look at it. That's right. Uh, with that blessing, with going through that struggle with that blessing, you got to have faith. Yeah. got to be obedient. Got to have strength. Yeah. And um, as we was going through this, I, I I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I said, God, what I need to do? Because I'm the man of the house. That's mm -hmm. right. God, what I need to do to provide for my family? I lost my job. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. he, he, he told me something. He said, I want you to stay strong. Mm -hmm. I got you. Mm -hmm. Be patient. Mm -hmm. I got you. Mm -hmm. Be obedient. I got you. Mm -hmm. Thank you but through all that, in here at Abundant Life, I had the men's encouragement. Yes. And I love y'all for that. Mm. And Bishop also as well. <laughs> I love y'all for that. Because that's one thing that a man needs is encouragement. That's right. From a godly man. Yes. Amen. You know? So I want to thank y'all for that, for being there for me, for encouraging me to walk. And then... I just want to thank you, and I love y'all. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Excellent.